Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Killer, aka Sonia B. So I am back with a couple of quick prophetic messages. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the message. But before I get into the message, I do want to say for those of you who are new to my channel, I want to say welcome. And for those of you who are returning back, I want to say welcome back, okay? Um, and please take only what resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit, okay? But I will say this, sometimes the energy... Uh, a person may not be dealing with the energy necessarily at that specific time, but could possibly deal with the energy later down the road, okay? So just at least keep the message in mind. That way you can pull it out of your file cabinet, which is a subconscious mind, and think to yourself if the situation should arise later down the road, you're reminding yourself of this message that I'm kind of giving for you to be aware of, okay? Just remember, these prophetic messages are nothing more than the spiritual 411, Okay? So anyway, in this dream, it was as if I was at the trunk of my car and I had the trunk open and I had some fried chicken in the trunk. I don't know what exactly I was doing, but I had some fried chicken in the trunk. But nevertheless, I had a family member of mine who came up to me and basically wanted some chicken. OK, so it was as if I had kind of allowed her to get a piece of chicken. But then she had dropped her chicken on the ground. And as she dropped her chicken on the ground, my back was facing her. So she got a piece of chicken and she stepped back in her my back was facing her so as my back was facing her she dropped that piece of chicken on the ground and she didn't know that i knew that she dropped it on the ground so basically what happened was she tried to put the chicken back and i said didn't you drop that on the ground and then her she didn't necessarily respond but she didn't think that i saw her so psychically i knew what had happened even though you know how they say you don't got eyes in the back of your head so it was like having eyes in the back of my head okay <laughs> so um anyway so with that being said, she wanted to put that piece of chicken back and and she wanted to grab another piece of chicken, but she said she wanted to grab another piece of chicken, but it wasn't necessarily for her. It was more so for her adult daughter in a sense and more so one that she kind of favored, okay? So I say all that to say that some of you guys may be dealing with a situation where it could be family member um, trying to take from you in some sort of way, okay? Um, whether this is physically being done or whether this is spiritually being done, you have to be mindful because sometimes when people know that you're about to step into prosperity, abundance, and generational wealth, or however you may want to refer, sometimes, you know, we know people come with their hands out, okay? But this is, no, this is nothing more than... Um, the spiritual world giving me messages to help you guys assist you on your journey, okay? So therefore, I'm just translating the message that's being given to me from the spiritual world of what's about to possibly take place. So as you step into your abundance and stuff, God wants you to be aware of the people that are around you, okay? So that way that, you know, you're not being used by these people in a sense. Because yes, even family can use people, okay? So God, that's just something that God wants you to be aware of. And for those of you who do not know the symbolism of chicken, chicken usually um represents um symbolism of prosperity and money and abundance okay but let me read this quick little definition to you okay well not definition but uh spiritual meaning of it it says um there are symbols of prosperity fortune happiness and plenty okay uh, the majority of cases or the lack of it okay so because in this dream i knew that i had and she came with her hand out that was letting me know that I had plenty. So therefore, some of you guys may be dealing with a situation that you have plenty, but I say all that to say that you have to be mindful of, um, you know, siblings or, you know, blood relatives coming to you in a sense and trying to uh, take or, um, I just heard a choir, trying to take something um, you know, from you. So this is nothing more than the spiritual world is wanting you to know what's going on behind the scenes. Because as I explained to you guys before, just as, just as, just as we have this physical world, we have a spiritual world that that's coexisting right alongside of it. Okay. Um, so anyway, but basically he, uh, basically you want to be aware of those who are coming with their hands out, okay? And again, I'm talking about, I get this as like blood relatives, but for other people, it could be, uh, it could be other types of people. You know, everybody's situation may be different, okay? Um, again, but when some people are going to start stepping into prosperity, this is nothing more than God's just trying to make you aware of those around you who aren't coming being true and authentic and just revealing to you their true purpose of why they're coming to you, Okay. So the next message was, uh, 
Okay, this next message came in a form as if like um, somebody was having some work done next door. So it this wasn't my house, but you know, this is just a message that somebody needs to hear. Like whether you haven't work done on your house or whether it's a situation. Okay, let me just explain the dream first. So basically in the dream, it was like, there was a, in the condominium, there was like an apartment uh a condo and then it was another you know like you, how you have a a floor and you have several different apartments on the the condominium floor or whatever like four different ones on your floor so it was as if like a next door neighbor was having some work done but the next the next door neighbor was somehow drilling a hole and it was kind of coming through the wall in a sense and i walked outside the door to look to see what they was doing and then basically i saw that whatever they was doing in their place was also coming into my place a little bit not fully if that makes sense but i say all that to say i basically went to see what they was doing and basically i heard the gentleman basically saying okay well here's the contract i need you to sign a contract and i looked at him and i was like i'm not signing that contract and then i heard a lady behind him she wasn't there with him but i heard a lady behind her and the lady behind her was basically a representation of that particular entity which is that you know the person that this individual worked for uh came in the form of a woman's voice basically saying that you know with a contract agreement so to sum it all up basically some of you guys are dealing with situations that s some contracts are about to be signed in some sort of way and basically these contracts can be physically or these contracts could be spiritually okay but nevertheless it was like it's time to pay up okay so i'm gonna name that this video it's time to pay up let me write this down before i forget So I say all that to say it's it's time to pay up. You know, again, sometimes we have a we have contracts that we need to fulfill is what I just heard. And we also have spiritual agreements that needs to be filled. And not only that, but sometimes we have a, a what do you call it? A spiritual debt or karmic debt that needs to be fulfilled. OK, so whatever way, shape or form that that applies to you, because it could be different for everybody. Um, take it how it resonates something to do with contracts in some sort of way okay so let's move on to the next message oh i do want to say that some of you guys may it could i got this in the form of like there was two guys and talking to two different girls so somehow there's a friend and a friend maybe running into two different girls and kind of um maybe trying to get to know them in a sense but i'm i'm just here to tell you that situation is going to be very short-lived okay just as quick as they in just as quick as they out okay i just want you to be aware of that just be mindful and that is not applying to all but that's how i saw it it's coming in twos you know um two friends two friends meeting two friends and they're there for like an hour or two and possibly out okay so just be mindful of that um, on October 23rd, I received the message that, okay, so I received this message and this message came, bear with me with this message, y'all, because I know it's going to sound like it's off the wall, but trust me, this is just how I saw it, okay? It was almost as if God had manifested down to earth, but he was using my body as a vessel um, in order to get his message across, okay? And I say that in the most humbling way possible, okay? So again, it was as if God had channeled you know uh it was as if i was god in a sense okay like not not me sonia but god had came through me using my body as a vessel okay to get his will done so i say all that to say it was like i was walking and basically i saw like and please don't take offense to what i'm saying okay um it, it just it is what it is this is my story these are the situations that i see and whatever god shows me that's what i speak on okay and any experiences that i have dealing with a particular group of people that's my situation that's what i had to deal with and this is why god said just to try to be mindful and not to judge anyone because we all have different situations that we deal with but if you could just understand the lessons that we're learning behind the scenes that um, and not literally take it to heart of what's taking place, because that's my story at that particular time. And I'm not going to have people dismissing my story, just like I wouldn't dismiss other people's story in a sense. So that's just what I had to deal with. But anyway, back to the message. I just felt the need to say that. So basically back um, again, God had manifested down on earth. He was using my body as a vessel. Okay. 
he was it was like he was walking around and it was as if i saw like these foreigners they they were like middle eastern okay i got the feeling like they were like middle eastern descent in a sense and um basically they were um walking around and i heard one of the gentlemen telling to his other fellow people like yeah let's go over here because this area is clean okay and they was just like moving into a particular area okay and now I'm, um, I'm not sure if this is necessarily saying that this is a physical place that's messy i didn't get that i got the feeling like spiritually clean okay and then it was like my attention went from them to went to walking around and almost like just observing and uh, judging, should I say, just recording through the eyes, okay? Because eyes is nothing more than like recording, okay? So, and it's almost like I walked past my neighbor, in a sense, uh, the one that I had had issues with uh, before, in a sense, um, or issues back since 2020. But anyway, I say all that to say that in the dream, it was as if God had, or myself had kind of walked up near... And, and it's not even the area that I stay in now. This is like a totally different area, okay? It was as if I had walked up towards like her backyard. Sometimes back backyards and townhomes may have like dividers, but no back gate, okay? So in this dream, it didn't have a back gate. It just had like the little panel dividers, okay? And I could see the neighbor kind of like laying on a, like a lawn chair that they have at the swimming pool, but she was laying on her stomach with her feet up in the air and was just kind of like, kind of like this while she was sitting there talking to a couple of her family members and then next thing you know it was like i had said something to her but remember it was like god was being manifested down channeling down through or god was using my body as a vessel to say and deal with the people that he needed to deal with okay so anyway i say all that to say i said something to her and then after that it switched scenes and then next thing you know all i see is her and her her uh van and she's like driving away like really fast, right? But then she left the people. This time when we switched scenes, it was in the front side of the house. Not even where I live at now, I'm just saying. But it was on the front side of the house. Bear with me, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to give it to you the best way I can. At least this message. I know it sounds a little complicated. So we was at the front of the house. And then I saw her van drive away. Somehow I stepped. And then she left the three people that were sitting out back with her. She, they were just kind of standing out there like, what? What? What's going on? Kind of in so many words. They didn't say that. So I walked back into my home, shut the door. But for some particular reason, something told me to step back outside my door and look. So the people weren't standing outside the door. Um the relatives wasn't standing outside the door they had already left but i stepped outside the door and for some particular reason i knew exactly where to look and as i looked and peeped my head out the door like this i basically looked down and i saw like this wave of tsunami was coming okay like water tsunami the water was coming up like i saw it at a distance and i saw it coming coming like this that's all i saw so i went back into the house i wasn't in a panic i wasn't in a in a like oh my god frantic you know i wasn't fearful okay so i shut my door and i just that was the end of the dream so i say all that to say that basically we're in the day and time that yesterday as of yesterday which is october 23rd we officially stepped into scorpio season <sighs> let's just say that some people are about to go for a ride okay so if you have been somebody who has not been um how can i say it addressing your issues running from your issues or trying to latch on is what i just heard thank you spirit trying to latch on or hold on to somebody else's coattail in the process and you not doing the own work yourself because remember i said the middle eastern man he was like well um yeah let's go over to this area because this area is clean in a sense okay so that was just a situation of rather than going over to a particular area because it's clean clean up your own area okay that's just what came to mind thank you spirit um, clean up your own area and you'll have a place to be clean rather than trying to go where someone else is, is at. Okay. So, and then when I saw the neighbor in a sense, it was like there, some of you guys have been sitting around, you've been lollygagging. She was a representation of what a lot of people have been doing on this journey. Just sitting around waiting, just kind of like, 
I just heard the word pussyfooting around. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I don't even know why that word came up. But anyway, I'll, I'll just say, okay, spirit. But anyway, um, I say all that to say that no more sitting around, okay? So if you have been just sitting around, just kind of lollygagging and just, you know, um, just kind of taking the situation for granted and not really listen to what it is that God is asking you to do, as I said before, it's pay up time, okay? These contracts that need to be fulfilled, they're about to be fulfilled, okay? So if you got a contract agreement, let's just say spiritually, that you were supposed to do such and such at such and such time, doing such and such time, it's time to pay up, period. So again, if you've been sitting on your astronomical anatomy and doing not doing what God is asking you to do, now God is pushing you to the forefront and having you to fulfill those contracts. So anyway... Um, so yes, I just wanted to let you guys know that. So again, it's almost like we're, we're at that moment where God is judging, judging, you know, and making sure that these contracts are being fulfilled. Okay. Um, was that pretty much it? Yeah. So that was pretty much it for that. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me explain to you. The tsunami that I saw, okay, for some people, it may be actual tsunami, okay? In different regions of the world, it could be an actual tsunami. And then for other people, because the last time I had a tsunami dream, it was like this was kind of happening to other areas of the world, but also with dealing with certain people. People were going through these waves of emotions where they were really getting in tune with their heart what their heart want, what's deep in your heart. Is it anger deep in your heart? Is it love deep in your heart that you want, but you haven't been honest and you haven't been real and you haven't been speaking your truth? Or is it hatred stored up in your heart? So all of that stuff that's possibly stored up in your heart is about to be manifested outwardly, okay? And Scorpio season is definitely the time to do it, okay? So I say all that to say, whether you're doing it intentionally or these planetary shifts is causing it to happen. So just be mindful because there may be a lot of chaotic energies and aggressions that's going on, you know, dealing with aggressions, dealing with other people. So, you know, just be mindful. I'm not telling you to be fearful, but create boundaries with people, but just be mindful. And then, um, and need I remind you, deep emotions at that, okay? So this last dream... Oh, okay. So this last dream came in a form. This one came through this morning, okay? It was as if somebody was trying to plan some sort of escape, like, from a detention center. I didn't see, like, bars or anything. I just saw, like, doors, like, doors in a detention center. So just be mindful because I, I saw it as if somebody was, like, planning an escape, okay? Like, possibly two people were trying to plan an escape some of some sort okay so be mindful because you you could possibly hear something about that on the news i don't know but i just saw that it was as if two people was trying to escape from like a detention center of some sort okay anyway so that is the end of the prophetic message but let me give you really quick this uh, message that i received Oops. Oh, God. Bear with me. Okay, so this one... Oh, shoot. Okay, so today's message was Proverbs 9 and 10, and it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, okay? So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And if you think about it, when I sat there and I said that the lady fleed, whatever it was that I said to her, she got up, ran, and did whatever she had, jumped in her van and ran. That was some sort of fear to get her moving, okay? So whether it's her, you, or anybody else that you see within your immediate environment, surroundings, and so on and so on, okay? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So when we fear God, that's beginning of wisdom, okay? And knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Knowledge of the Holy One is understanding, okay? So I say all that to say, which is, you know, um, 
as I said, God was being manifested down through me or using my body as a vessel, vessel to see what was actually, not saying that God can't see what was going on up in heaven, but he was like literally down here on earth, up close, seeing what people were doing in a sense, okay? I actually have this other scripture too, and I'm going <clears> to <throat> end it there. This one came through the other day. It says, Psalms 37 and 4, take the light in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is that you're seeking. And as I said before, this wave of tsunami, whatever is buried deep down within your heart, it is coming up to the surface. OK, so whatever it is that you are desiring, God will give it to you. OK, let's just hope that you are desiring something that is, you know, healthy and loving and kindness because remember when we are projecting negativity out we're going to get that same karma back in return so let's just make sure that we're manifesting something that is you know of how can i say it manifesting something that is um thank you spirit of high vibration okay and not something that is of low vibration so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. So just remember that we are in Scorpio season. You may see people having a little bit of aggression or a little bit of, and, and thank you, Spirit. And the other word was betrayal. Remember that too. Like as the way I saw it was some people uh, literally like kind of betraying people, okay? But that's not going to be their end result, okay? So if you are someone who is betraying someone, just know and understand that that is also a contract that needs to be fulfilled as well too. Meaning like if you're betraying somebody, just know that that energy is coming right back to you, okay? So just be careful and mindful of what you're putting out so that way that you don't get that energy in return, okay? But be mindful because even the good people can find themselves going bad during this season and, you know, take it how it resonates. But anyway, with that being said, I wish you all much love, much light, and I say till the next message. Bye.